Well, I guess you'll never have to drag him down the strip. <laughs> See what I did there? See what I did? I know. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transform Mission Revolt. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have a very nice image there of Revolt, all revolty. And on the top of the box here, you just have the Transform Mission logo. On the bottom, ages 15 plus. On the side of the box, nothing. On this side of the box, nothing. On the back, you have an image there of their not menasaur warning please don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you and when you remove the slip cover here is just the transform mission logo and the transform mission logo on the back and that's basically it for the packaging and also included in the packaging is a baggie of more parts to make a little transparent optimus prime so hooray we have more parts so. but we have all the pieces uh I'll probably do a little uh, build stuff video and put this guy together. Hopefully at some point we do get an instruction manual to put this together. I hope. That would be nice, but we'll see. So there you have that. And moving right along here we have Revolt. And this is Transformation's take on uh, Drag Strip. And this is another component of their Not Menace work. And uh, yeah, very cool figure. I do quite like him. So here he is in his race car mode. And let's just get a close here so we can take a look at the details. You got the nice racing stripes on the front there. Um, all of the tires are rubber, even these back tires, these big back tires are rubber, which is very, very nice. And you got the driver's section here. Not a whole lot of detail in there. You got the uh, kind of like a vague <laughs> seat in there with some seat belts, steering wheel right there. There is the uh, the top of Revolt's head right there. It's kind of poking out, but it's not blatantly obvious that it's a robot head, but it's still kind of obvious that it's a robot head. <laughs> you got some more racing stripes here. Here's number 11. You got some black. The engine block is done in silver and gold and black with some nice detailing. And you got some more detailing going down the back here. Got that spoiler with the racing stripes and all that goodness. There's the back, there's the bottom. He does roll very nicely, as rolling things should. He rolls nice and smooth. And yeah, so there you go. And for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Side Swipe, just so you can see how he scales there with a Masterpiece car. And again, these are pretty much Masterpiece sized. Uh, here he is with MP10, and their Motormaster is going to be MP10 size, so this is an accurate representation of how he'll scale with Motormaster. So, there you have that. Uh, here he is with his teammates here. So you can see how they all look together with his fellow Stunticon brethren. You can see how they look, and uh, yeah, nice looking set so far. Definitely a nice looking set. I'm digging these guys, really digging these guys. There you have that. Here he is with Combiner Wars drag strip. So you can see how they look together. Here he is with Fans Projects drag strip. So you can see how they look. And here he is with G1 drag strip because he is pressure. Drag stripping pressure. Ooh. So there you have that. My table is dirty apparently because all of the stuff is coming off on his wheels. Jeez, I need to wipe this table off. My God, anyway. <laughs> I need to do a little housekeeping anyway. So there you have that. Um, he does include his weapon right here, his little gun, which not a whole lot to it. You got the handle here, you just flip down. That's pretty much it for his gun, just done in purple and silver with some black there. Uh, this section can swing down if you want it to. They don't tell you to do that, but it can do that. It's a thing it can do, but I think it looks better when you leave it up like that. But hey, you know, toy, do what you want with it. But it can store in the vehicle mode, and you can see there is just a notch right here that will just go over this tab right there. So you just take that, line that up, and that holds on nice and secure like. Doesn't affect the rolling in any way. And there you go, storage. Yay! So, 
that's pretty much it for his vehicle mount. So let's get down to transformation, shall we, lads? So first thing we'll do is go into combined mode. So to do that, I'm going to raise the camera up a little bit so I have room to operate. And we'll get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take these little panels right here and you want to flip these in. Make sure you do that because if you leave these out, that will get in the way of other stuff later on. So make sure that's the first thing you do. So flip those in. And then you want to... I just kind of knocked the gun out. We'll just leave that off to the side for now. And we'll take the engine block here and you just want to take that and uh, bring it up and over like that. There you go. So now you want to bring up these sections right here. Just untab these. Bring them up. You can see there's a little tab and slot right in there. Bring that up, which will then allow you to take this section right here, which is just tabbed into that notch right there. So just untab that. Bring that out. And now bring that over this section. Bring this back down. And once you have that done, you want to take this section and slide it forward. It's on a slider. So you just slide that forward like that. And there's a tab there that will go into that... Uh, slot right there on the engine block. So just take that, tab that in right there. There you have that. And same thing on the other side, just bring that up. Untab, bring that up, bring that down, and then you just slide this forward. Slide it forward, slide, slide. There we go. And just tab that in right there like that. And there you go. So now you want to take these skirt pieces here crotch plate pieces, bring those up, bring this whole assembly up like that, you can bring the spoiler down, like so, and then come to the back, you want to take these little clips, and just bring these down, take this section right here, and just bring that out and up like that, and there you go, so with the wheels, you just want to take them, they're on multiple hinges here, so you want to bring the wheels out, and then you're just going to swing them around like that. And once you do that, you just collapse it in like so. And then you do the same thing here. Just send all that out. So bring it forward. Bring that in. And now this section right here will go over these tabs right here. And hold those in place like that. And once you've done that, you just take this whole assembly, rotate it, and then you slide it out like that. And we're pretty much done. And now you want to bring down the combiner peg, which, as usual, is on a really stiff ratchet. So I need me a little tool here to kind of pry this out. Ah, there we go. And you just bring bring that down. Bring it with the greatest of ease. There we go. Bring that down. And then this little section just pulls out. And if you want to, you can leave the gun. I'm going to assume you can leave the gun stored in there. It doesn't look like it's going to uh, affect anything with this combined. And there you go. There you have Revolt aka drag strip in his arm mode and that's basically it for his arm mode um the forearm will just connect via these clips right there and that's all going to come with motor master but yeah that's pretty much he becomes the upper arm there of menasaur and that's that's pretty much it that's all there is to it that's his arm arm there you go so let's get down to robot mode so we'll just undo everything we just did yes undo that take these wheels Swing them back down. You do want to leave them out for now. Bring that out. Swing that out. You do want to take all this and just slide it back where it was. You can take this section here, push that back in, bring these back up. Knock the gun out. <laughs> push that in, flip this back up. Like that. And rotate at the waist. Bring the legs down. Bring down those little crotch panels right there. And we'll start working on his legs. So split the legs. You want to bring up the spoilers here. So you have some room to operate. And then what you're going to do here is you're going to take this panel. You're going to bring this out. Bring this down. And this whole section right here. You want to... It's a little snug, but there you go. See it's on a double hinge. And you just extend that downward. Like that. And you'll see there is a little notch here for this tab. And all that will line up just like that. And once you do that, you want to take the wheel here and you want to swing it in. And what's going to happen is, you can see there are two pegs right here and multiple sets of two ports here. And you just take that, swing that in, and just line that up with any pair of ports. 
plug that in. There you go. And then you just take this panel right here, and this slot will just go over this tab right here. Just line all that up. Tab that on like that. And then you just take this panel, bring that up. You can see that the tab will go into that notch right there. That will lock in place. Bring up the spoiler to make his foot. And there you have a leg all done. Second verse, much like the first. So, bring it over, bring that down. Extend that downward. Make sure all that clips in. Real nice like. Bring that wheel in. Plug the wheel in. Tab that on. Again, make sure everything's lined up. Bring that up. Snaps in place. Bring up the foot. And there you got the legs all done. Hooray! Hooray for legs! And now we will move on to the upper body. So now, what we're going to do is, we're just going to take the arms. You want to bring them forward. Right here. Just to get them disengaged and then you just bring them up and out like that actually before you do that you want to move these panels because they're in the way so you want to bring these chest pieces forward you can see there's a post and a port right there so you just bring that in boop, and bring that one in and, boop, and there you go and that will allow you to now bring the arms out like so this panel right here you just want to bring that out and swing that up like that then you can bring the arm down, rotate it at the bicep swivel there. You can bring this the rest of the way up, bring that down to make the shoulder pad. And then you just grab his hand and pull. That will lock into place, so extend his forearm. There you have an arm all done. Second fast, much like the fast. So bring that forward, bring that up and down. Bring that back, swing that around, bring the arm down, rotate. Bring down that shoulder pad, extend that hand until that locks into place and they got the arms all done and now we have all this to work on here so what we're going to do is we're going to take this and just bring that down like that and then you want to split it you can see the side just tabs over this side like that and these bits right here are on double hinge you just want to take them and shift them in like that or shift them out rather take that and shift that out like so and then these sections right here just come in like that and once you do that you come here these side panels here you want to bring them down just so they will untab you can see they're just kind of tabbed in right under there untab that and then you can bring that out and up like that so bring that down and then bring that up and out like that which will then allow you to take this whole assembly here that has its head and just feed that through right here onto the chest, revealing the head. And there you go. Come down a little bit. And now with these sections here, you just want to take them and bring them forward and down like that. And you can see there's a tab right there that will go into this little notch right there. That will just sit there like that. Same thing with the other one, just bring that down and forward. That will send that notch. Then you take the shoulder panels here, you just bring those down. And you just kind of get everything all nice and straightened out here with the backpack and all that good stuff. And there you go, there we have Revolt in his robot mode. And I quite dig him. I think he looks cool. I like him. I like him a lot. <laughs> Very nicely done. Again, very, very IDW comic book design. And that's one thing I love about this set is that it's the IDW designs. And very cool. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at that head scope. Look at that noggin of his. Nice purple helmet there. Uh, you got some nice metallic red there for the visor. And you got the blue there for the face. Looks very nice. Very cool. I dig it. You got some silver there on the chest. A lot of silver right there. Got some silver, a little bit of gold in there. Got some silver, some more purple, some more silver. The legs, you can see the hips are all done in silver. Got some black paint apps in there. You got some silver and blues. And the transformation, I mean, for the most part, is pretty clean. Everything has somewhere to go. I mean, it does have a bit of a backpack, but, you know, not the end of the world. It's got the engine block there and just some some uh, car pieces there. Um, these bits, I, I do actually like these bits that are sticking out of his shoulders. I don't know why. I think that looks kind of cool. That's just me. <laughs> I dig it. But, um, yeah. 
So there you go. Now articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint. So you do get a little bit of wiggly, waggly, wiggly, waggly. He can definitely look up a good bit. He can do total squirrel. He can do that. He can't really look down that much. And of course you have full 306 degree range of movement there at the head. Right there. It's a little hard to move his head. That's kind of stiff joint there, but yeah, full range of movement there. The shoulders are on a ball joint. They can do a full 360. They can go in and out right there. You also have this hinge right here. So you can kind of shift those shoulders up and down if you want to. The shoulder pads are on that hinge there. So you can kind of angle those however you want. You do have a bicep swivel. Yeah, slightly over 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You got a wrist swivel. The hands do open and close. You do have a wrist swivel. These little hip panels here will move out of the way to accommodate the leg movement. Legs can move forward that much. Back that far. Outward. You can do the full splits. He does have a thigh swivel. 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And the feet can move up. They can move down. And you have some ankle tiltage there. Or some spoiler tiltage. But yeah, <laughs> he is actually pretty good and poseable. So there you go. And of course, you can't hold his weapon. You just fold the handle down. And it's the usual tab into the slot in the palm method. You just open up his hand and just plug it into his palm. Close that up. And he does hold that nice and secure like. Give him a good shake. He's not going to drop it. So there you go. He's pretty cool. I dig him. I dig him. I, I think he's definitely my favorite of this set so far. I really, really like him. So. There you go. Now for comparison. Here he is with Masterpiece Side Swipe. You can see how they look together in that. The head, they are pretty much the same height there. And that, here he is with MP10. So you can see how they look together. There you go. Here he is with his fellow Stunticon brothers here. We have Disorder. We have Carnage. You can see how the set is shaping up so far. And I think they look really good together. I'm really digging this set so far. Really, really am. Some really nicely done figures, in my opinion, anyway. And with some other drag strips, here he is with Combiner Wars drag strip. Here he is with the Fans Project drag strip. And here he is with G1 drag strip because he's pressure. Drag stripping pressure. And there you pretty much have Revolt right there. And um, like I said earlier, I think he is he is my favorite figure of this set so far. I just really dig his design. And um, like I said, just overall really loving this set. You know, I mean, for me, it's 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 a win, win, win. Because one, it's Masterpiece Stunicons win. Two, it's Stunicons win. And three, it's IDW Masterpiece Stunicons win. So... <laughs> The math works out. It works out. Don't worry about it. But, anyway. <laughs> but um, yeah, all in all, though, I, I think he's my favorite of the set. I really, really like him. So there you go. So if you would like Revolt or any of Transform Missions other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. So check that out. You can also check out the M01 playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below. So check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Lori Plan. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Transform Mission Revolt, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing, be geek, be proud, palm in your face! No! 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 Oh, 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 man. Ow. Ow. Hey, 
what's going on here? Him? I'll take you all on! Ah, you guys are a couple of wusses. I'll handle him. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> okay. I may have underestimated him. Get your butt out of my face. <laughs>